Six, inflation might be easing up a little bit, but food prices are still rising, not only for you, but also farmers trying to feed their livestock. The cost of hay has soared in the past year. New for you this morning, our Jamie Warren joins us live from Gilbert. Uh, Jamie, owners say uh, they can't keep up with the rising costs, and now they have to be passed on to others. Nick and Kaylee, the cost of this hay impacts not only food production, so what you and I eat at the breakfast table, but it also impacts what these horses eat as well, and that has some business owners forced to make some tough decisions. I've had her for probably 15 years at this point. Rachel Jones owns Crossroads Farms, a boarding and training facility in Gilbert. And these horses. This is a passion for you yeah. and your yeah. customers. Absolutely. Are her life, years. but the cost to feed them has skyrocketed within the past year, forcing her to not only raise her boarding prices. My board costs can't keep up with what what with what it's costing me, but make an unimaginable choice. Just within the last month, I had to sell six of my own horses. It makes me sad, you know. I mean, it's never I've never seen the uh, the climate like this before. It's um, it's scary, and because it, it's only going to get worse. A year ago, she says one bale of hay cost fourteen dollars. Today, it's about twenty five dollars, and it'll keep on rising. How many generations back does this farm go? Five generations in Arizona. Local hay farmers like Nate at the hay barn tell me they don't have a choice because the cost to grow it keeps going up. Fertilizers have tripled in the last year. He says limits on water also means less hay is being grown. And overseas, countries like China are buying more hay from the U.S. than ever before. And those buyers are paying a lot of money. He says while it's tempting, he's choosing to remain selling local. But it won't be easy for him or those who rely on this hay to keep their passions and businesses alive. And unfortunately, the strongest buyer will win in the end. A lot of these big barns like this have already had to close their doors and disappear. It's getting harder and harder to find. And Rachel tells me that right now her business is able to stay afloat, but the future, that's unknown. And Kaylee and Nick, as you know, Gilbert is a farm town. This is why people move here. To, so to see that that could slowly start going away, it's hard for a lot of the folks that I've spoken with. And then again, when you go to the grocery store, you see the impacts of this, right? The prices for really everything. And farmers are dealing with uh, enough right now with yeah. the, all the water shortages as well. So uh, they just have so much to try to navigate. Uh, thank you for this insight, Jamie.